Welcome to another exciting episode of Baseball with Duke, where we dive into the fascinating lives and careers of baseball's greatest legends. In today's episode, we bring you the captivating story of Gary Edmund Carter, a renowned professional baseball catcher whose impact on the game is etched in history. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and join us as we embark on an extraordinary journey through the life of the kid himself. Gary Edmund Carter was born on April 8, 1954, in Culver City, California. From a young age, his athletic prowess was evident, and his passion for the game of baseball ignited a fire within him. With a charismatic personality and infectious energy, Carter would go on to leave an indelible mark on the sport. Nicknamed the Kid for his youthful exuberance, Carter's 19-year Major League Baseball MLB career was primarily spent with two iconic teams, the Montreal Expos and the New York Mets. As a catcher, he was a force to be reckoned with, known for his exceptional hitting skills and impeccable defense. Throughout his illustrious career, Carter received numerous accolades, including being named an All-Star and Astounding 11 times. His contributions were pivotal in the Mets' 1986 World Series Championship, where he played a key role in the team's triumphant journey to baseball glory. One of the most memorable moments in Carter's career came during the 1986 National League Championship Series NLCS, against the Houston Astros. In Game 5, with the score tied in the 12th inning, Carter stepped up to the plate and delivered a game-winning single, propelling the Mets closer to their World Series dreams. And it was in the 1986 World Series against the Boston Red Sox that Carter's star shone even brighter. In Game 6, facing a significant deficit, Carter kick-started a historic comeback with a crucial 10th inning single, fueling the Mets' rally and ultimately leading them to victory. His exceptional performance earned him the admiration and respect of fans worldwide. Not only was Carter a force on the field, but he also made history off it. He became one of only four individuals ever to be named captain of the Mets, a testament to his leadership qualities and the respect he commanded from his teammates. Beyond his achievements, Carter's personal journey was marked by triumphs and tragedies. Growing up in Southern California, he faced the untimely loss of his mother to leukemia at a young age. However, Carter's passion for sports remained unwavering, and he pursued his dreams with unwavering determination. Carter attended Sunny Hills High School in Fullerton, where he showcased his athletic versatility, excelling in both football as a quarterback and baseball as an infielder. His parents earned him a spot on the National League All-Star team as a right fielder. His selection was a testament to his skills and potential, and it laid the foundation for a career filled with numerous accolades. Over the years, Carter continued to shine, establishing himself as one of the premier catchers in the game. He consistently delivered impressive offensive numbers, combining power and finesse at the plate. His defensive skills were equally remarkable, earning him three consecutive Gold Glove Awards. Carter's impact extended far beyond individual accomplishments. He was a team player and a leader, always willing to put the success of the team above personal glory. His infectious enthusiasm and unwavering dedication made him the beloved figure in the baseball community. However, as with any journey, there were hurdles to overcome. Carter's exuberant personality, his love for the limelight, and his penchant for seeking media attention occasionally drew criticism from his peers. Some believe that he was too focused on his image and not fully committed to being a team player. Nevertheless, Carter's contributions and impact on the game remain undeniable. In 1984, after several successful seasons with the Expos, Carter was traded to the New York Mets. This move presented him with new opportunities and paved the way for his ultimate triumph in the 1986 World Series. As his career progressed, Carter's statistics continued to impress. He reached significant milestones, including hitting his 300th career home run and amassing an impressive number of RBAs. His offensive prowess, coupled with his exceptional skills as a catcher, solidified his place among the greatest players of his era. Carter's impact extended beyond the field as well. His involvement in charitable endeavors and his commitment to making a positive difference in the lives of others exemplified his character and showcased the true spirit of sports legend. In 2003, the baseball world celebrated Carter's achievements 
as he was rightfully inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. His plaque stands proudly, depicting him as a member of the Montreal Expos, forever immortalizing his contributions to the game. Unfortunately, Carter's journey took an unexpected turn in May 2011, when he was diagnosed with an aggressive form of brain cancer. Despite his battle against this formidable foe, Carter's love for the game remained unwavering. He even continued to coach a college baseball team, refusing to let cancer deter him from the sport he cherished. On February 16, 2012, the baseball world mourned the loss of a true legend. Gary Edmund Carter passed away at the age of 57, leaving behind a legacy that transcends the game itself. His remarkable career, infectious personality, and unwavering passion for baseball continue to inspire players and fans around the world.